Hi, Dr. Pat TV. We're looking at functions and models. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at them symbolically. So we're bringing in those uh, business concepts and just kind of seeing how we can work the formulas. Okay, so for our first example, we're looking at the linear cost function. Uh, it's a relationship. The total cost is a combination of fixed costs plus the variable cost. Fixed costs are those uh, costs that don't change uh, with the amount that you produce. So whether I'm producing a hundred t-shirts or a thousand t-shirts, the money that I have to pay for my machinery, the mortgage that I'm paying for, or the lease that I'm paying for my buildings, those salary people who uh, it doesn't matter how much we produce, uh, that's all fixed cost. Variable cost would be my supplies, such as the uh, the cotton fabric that I'm using, the thread, uh, any of the ink that I'm using to um, you know put on uh, pictures or uh, any kind of logos and things like that. So that would be a variable cost. All right. So fixed cost does not depend on the number produced or sold. That value is going to stay the same. Variable cost depends on the number produced or sold. The value varies. That's what I call it, variable. And so a uh, nice shortened version of this uh, formula is a nice TC equals FC plus VC. FC for fixed cost, VC for variable cost. And when we're talking linear situations, that variable cost part just turns into marginal cost times Q. Marginal cost is the slope. It's the rate of change. And since it's linear, that's always going to be the same number. So it turns into be the equation of a line. All right, so let's do an example here. I got Duff Energy Drink. Yeah, I've been drinking it myself, as you can tell. And I, it produces uh, each additional case is going to cost them $5 to produce. And so let's say we got fixed cost of $1,000 per day. And then what's the projected total cost for 2,250 cases of Duff? Even though we're using per day kind of, uh, you see seeing that, um, we're, we're basically developing a formula that we can use for each day. And, and our independent variable, our input, is going to be the number of cases. So what do we have? We have a fixed cost. Our FC is going to be 1000 Our marginal cost is $5 because it's $5 per case. So that's, that per word is a great indicator of uh, marginal cost. So whenever you can translate something as five dollars per day you've got a marginal cost and then our quantity our Q is going to be 2250 let's put this all together then so for our total cost it's going to be the formula 1000 plus 5Q 1000 our fixed cost 5 is our marginal cost it's a linear situation so we got that 5Q then to find out our projection for 2250 let's just plug in 2250 and we get a total cost of 12250 so that's how we're basically translating the, the terms you. When you're reading a problem, translate those numbers, those information we get into the appropriate uh, relationships, such as marginal cost, fixed cost, and quantity, and then figure out what formula to use. Another concept we're playing with is revenue. Revenue is price times quantity. So most likely it's P and Q. It's a nice formula, very polite formula. Why? Because it mines its P's and Q's. There's a bad joke there. All right, profit, revenue minus cost, TR minus TC, or R minus C, depending on what econ book you have to play with. All right, so another example. Uh, let's say now we've got our energy drink. We're selling them for $24 per case. So we're looking for the question, what is the revenue for uh, 2,250 cases? And then what's the profit that we have for that number of cases? Okay, so the information we have here in this case is this is our revenue. So this is our price, 24. So to calculate our revenue, we have 24 as times Q. Plug in the amount, the quantity that we want, the 2250. We do this nice little multiplication, and we get a total revenue of 54,000. To calculate our profit, we'll do pro uh, revenue minus cost. We have a revenue that we're bringing over here at 54000 And then remember from our previous slide, we've already calculated the cost. So that's where you're seeing this 12250 It's not out of the blue. It's from the previous slide. And then you just take the difference, and we get a profit of 41750 And so that's our example for uh, profit uh, and revenue. So just using those formulas, using those relationships. Another uh, concept that we play with is break-even. 
and that's uh you, we saw it graph graphically in the previous uh, video um, break even happened when revenue equals cost when the revenue graph intersected the cost graph that's when we begin to make profit and so you have two ways to play this uh, symbolically if you got a formula for revenue just set that equal to the formula for cost if you have the formula for profit to begin with then just set it equal to zero so kind of two ways to play this um, graphically what I've done is for our Duff uh, profit example that we have I took revenue minus cost and it made this nice straight line graphically so there's a couple of pieces of information here we have here this beginning here at quantity zero just remember that's our fixed cost it's negative here on the profit graph that's because remember profit is revenue minus cost the minus cost basically means a negative value so that's why fixed cost is negative on the profit graph and then where we cross the um, the x-axis here where we uh, start to be make profit here this represents our break-even point and so I'm guessing somewhere around 51 52 53 somewhere in that area I'm I'm anticipating for my break-even so we've got to produce and sell about 52 cases and then we're making a profit Okay, so let's take a look at the symbols, the, the formulas, to see if we can find this break-even. Using the information about our revenue, our revenue formula was 24 times Q because our price was 24. Our total cost was a fixed cost of 1000 and then $5 per addition, additional case that we produced. And so this is our setup to find break-even, revenue equals cost. Let's um, bring this 5Q over to the other side, make a 19Q, and then divide both sides by 19. So 1,000 divided by 19, I get something rounded off as 52.6. So, whoops, sorry about that. My quantity here is 52.6, and basically that's telling me my break even. It's in between 52 and 53. Which one do I pick? Do I take 52 or do I take 53? Uh, here's one uh, way to do uh, rounding off for the break even concept is that I don't want to use 52 because I'm not making a profit yet, I'm still losing money at 52. But if I do 53, that's when I start making profit. So this break-even, business-wise, is about when I start making profit. That's what the information's good for. It helps us decide how much I should produce. And so let's round up to 53, uh, rounding up on our quantity here for break-even, because that's truly what we want to know when we start to make a profit. So I would say Q equals 53. We need to produce and sell at least 53 cases each day in order to ensure that we're making some profit. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thanks and have a good day.